Boy, this is uh, sure starting to get filled. But will it stop me from buying screen factories? Oh, hell no. If we look down here, we got a little spot open. Let's fill it. How's it going everybody? Tommy Star here. Thank you for clicking on this video. We have another Scream Factory unboxing. These have got to be my favorite unboxings. So, uh, I've been home now for my trip for a couple days. I'm sure you guys have noticed I just posted uh, the trip video. And I uh, hope you guys are enjoying that. It was a, a lot of fun. Uh, but when I got back, I had a package from Amazon. And uh, I know what they are. But I've been that busy all week that I haven't even gotten around opening this up and doing a video. So it's Friday now and, uh, well, for you guys, I don't know, it's probably Saturday or something. But it's Friday now. It's time to get this package open make sure what I ordered is in there. So the brand new Scream Factory Collector's Edition, number 82. Um, I think after this, there's only like one more to come out. Um, for the ones that they announced at Comic-Con last year. Um, and then after this, there are, uh, um, after that other one, which is Cyborg, um, there are two other ones that are going to be coming out um, very soon. Um, we got uh, Behind the Mask, Rise of, Le uh, Rise of Leslie Vernon. That one actually comes out, I think, next week or the week after. So not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. And then... Um, in April uh, will be Cyborg, and then um, they announced for June, I believe, Ninja 3. Um, so those are uh, what we got uh, coming down the line for uh, Collector's Editions. And then, of course, this one that just got released uh, like a week or two ago. Um, so, yeah, and not only is there a Collector's Edition in this package... But there's another Scream Factory, a non-collector's edition. I don't buy a lot of those, but I do buy them occasionally. And this particular one, I'm super excited for. So, let's quit talking. Let's get this package open and make sure... All right, here we go. Let's get her open. Ever since uh, I got Misery, I've been... <laughs> when I got Misery and it was the, the slipcover and everything was all messed up, I've always been a little paranoid now every time I open the <laughs> Hopefully we're okay. Okay, okay. All right, so take a look at the first one, the non-collector's edition. So the these two particular movies in this uh, series have been favorites of mine since I was really little and I first started watching horror movies. I, I always owned the VHSs and then... Um, <clears throat> And then I got, I ended up getting the first one on DVD. And then they had the second one on DVD, but it was like out of print and always really expensive, like 50 to 100 bucks. So I never bought it. Um, <clears throat> and so because of that, I haven't seen it in years. Like I don't even know what happened to my VHS of it. So I haven't seen it in a really long time. Well, I was always hoping one day we'd get these on blue. I never was sure about the second one if we would, but I was hoping the first one definitely would. And then... Okay, well, what has it been now? Two years, I think, since it got released. But the first one got put up by Vestron for the first time on Blu-ray. And just, oh, I was so happy about that. Because obviously I love the first one the best. But now, Scream Factory last year announced that part two was coming to Blu-ray. And my and my friend Craig and I were so hoping that it, it would be a collector's edition. Because that would have been badass. But either way, we got it on Blue for the first time. And that is Gate 2. Uh, Return to the Nightmare. So, I remember thinking this was a pretty cool sequel. Um, it's been a really long time since I've seen it. Um, I do remember parts of it. And uh, one of the kids from the first one does return for this one. And uh, it's so cool to just have it on Blu-ray now. I never thought we'd see Gate 2 on Blu-ray. And that is badass. Um, so, yeah, like I was saying, I was so open Scream Factory would put this as a collector's edition. Because that would have been the shit. Um, but either way, it's okay. <clears throat> Special features on this, we got a new 2K scan of the inner positive, new interviews with the crew, that's pretty sweet. Uh, still gallery, a video promo, and a theatrical trailer. So, 
if you guys want to try to read that, hopefully you can. But a really good movie. This is the original poster art. Um, and uh, I'm so happy to have this on blue. I cannot wait to watch it again because it's been so long. Um, but uh, these are really good movies, both of these movies. The first one, obviously, is kick-ass. Uh, but the second one's pretty good as well. So you guys got to check these movies out. They're good. So there's that one. <clears throat> now let's make sure the collector's edition is in here. And I'm seeing a slip. Okay. So let me just take a quick peek around the edges. Make sure we're good. So far, so good. All right, number 82. And that is The Strangers. Um, I remember, like, I don't think I've seen this movie since it came out on video. Which was a few years ago now. Um, what year is this from? 2007. Boy, it's already been 11 years. That's crazy. So I haven't seen this in like 11 years because I, last time I watched it, uh, watched it was when I bought the DVD. And uh, I remember thinking this was a really creepy movie. <clears throat> it uh, it was pretty scary. Uh, there's that new one out now um, in the theaters. <clears throat> and um, I don't know, it, like, you guys tell me down in the comments, is that like a sequel? Or is it like a... Like just like a, like another remake or something. Um, I think it's like a remake. I don't think it's like a sequel to this because this was based on a true story. So I, I would assume there wouldn't be a sequel to that. So I think it's just kind of like a, a re-imaging of it. But either way, um, I love it. Um, this uh, The artwork on this, it's pretty cool. I was hoping it would be a little bit better. Um, I'm not like a huge fan of the artwork for this one. But it's still pretty cool. Um, <clears throat> so let's, uh, take a look and see what we get in here. So they are calling this the 10th anniversary collector's edition. Um, and for our special features, we get disc one, a theatrical, uh, you get the theatrical version, new HD master of the theatrical cut taken from the 2k digital intermediate, the element of terror interviews with the cast and crew, uh, deleted scenes, TV spots, and a theatrical trailer. And then disc two, you get the unrated version. I can't remember if the regular blu-ray edition that came out of this had a theatrical and an unrated uh but uh on that disc you get new hd master of the unrated cut taken from the 2k digital intermediate with hd inserts new interviews with right uh, with writer director brian bertino and actors kip weeks and laura margolis in a still gallery so not like super jam-packed with stuff but still pretty damn good <clears throat> so for those who haven't seen this can read the back there. So yeah, like I said, this is supposed to be based on like a true story, but I always thought that this was just creepy as hell, and uh, not a bad choice for uh, Scream Factory to pick up in their collector edition line. So let's open it up and make sure that everything is good to go. <clears throat> okay, just bear with me here. Gotta be so careful. I think we got it. I remember la like what I was saying about misery is that when when I looked at it with the shrink wrap on it, it, it looked fine. But then when I opened it up, it's when I noticed it was all ripped and shit. And this one seems to be okay. <clears throat> all right, looks good. So let's take a look at the. Uh, uh, alternate artwork on the other side. So, oh, that was like stuck together. Theatrical version and unrated version. So there's the discs in there. Let's flip her open and take a look. Flip her around, I should say. This is weird. I don't remember this artwork. I remember like... I'm trying to think like what it looked like. It didn't look like this. I know that. Here's the alternate artwork. I don't remember that looking like that. I don't know if this is like, like one of the first editions or something. But yeah, the I remember the, the Blu-ray I had didn't look like that. I know that. But either way, we'll just stick this in here. Okay. All right, well, there's the alternate artwork. We'll go with it. So, get the uh, slipcover bag on here. 
Okay, so awesome. Number 82. Let's go ahead and, uh, oh, got to crack this one open too. So I'll open up this one and we'll go put them on the shelf. I don't think like this one would come with any kind of alternate artwork. I'll just open it up real quick. All right, we do got something on the other side. I wonder what that is. Well, that's pretty cool. They did put some alternate artwork on here. And again, I don't know what this is. Because I know that this this is definitely the original. I know that my VHS looked like that. We got some alternate artwork on the other side. That's pretty cool that they did that. I don't know if that's like new or if that's like really old. That's pretty cool, I guess. Now, because I don't have a slipcover, what, what side do I use? I'm going to have to use the one I'm used to. So. But that's, I, that's still pretty cool, though, that they did that. Interesting. All right. And a look at the disc. All right. Let's go get these on the shelves. You got to get this in a protector sleeve, and then we'll put them on the shelf. All right. Got it in a protector sleeve. Let's get it on the shelf. The Strangers. And of course, we made our way down to the, what is this, third and fourth shelf. So we'll go ahead and slide that in there. Sorry. All right, drag me to hell and the strangers right here. So now we got to get uh, the gate two over here with my non-collector's editions. I just kind of alphabetized them. So that'll go right there. All right, here we go. Let's put her on in there. Okay. Here we go. And it's all falling over. Hold on. <laughs> oh, it's just beautiful. Look at that. Okay. All right, there you have it. We got Screen Factory Collector's Edition number 82 and The Gate 2. So, awesome. I'm excited for the next one to come out, which is, um, like I said, um, Behind the Mask. And that is not this Tuesday, but next Tuesday. So, I'm sure it'll be a few days after that when I get it uh, from Amazon. So, oh, and not uh, to mention that same day, we got two more John Carpenter Steelbooks coming out uh, that same day. I am so excited. I cannot wait to get those as well. So, there you have it, everybody. There's my unboxing for the, the two brand new Scream Factories. If you enjoy my unboxings, please give it a thumbs up. Just hit that like button right down below. Drop me a comment. Let me know if you guys pick these up. And share the video around. Subscribe if you have not. Thank you for watching, everybody. We'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.